nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, command engine start, two, one, two, Coming up next here in under a minute is going to be main engine cutoff, where we cut off that BE3, and you'll be able to visually see that on the screen here shortly. And there we see it, main engine cutoff of the BE-3. We see the CCRCS thrusters firing, and we have confirmed separation. All right, so capsule booster separated. Capcom Serenites will momentarily cue the astronauts to unbuckle their harnesses and start floating around the capsule. They are in zero G. They have practiced for this, and now it's really happening. <laughs> Doing this, guys. Oh, oh check this out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got a ball here. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like this. Nike! Oh, all right. One minute warning. One minute warning. 
Well, huge congratulations to all six crew. They have crossed that Carmen line and they became official astronauts outstanding. As you can see, we have two distinct vehicles in the screen now. Both the crew capsule and the booster are descending. It was so amazing to hear from such an excited crew. I just love hearing their real reactions, real time. It is just awesome. That energy walking up the tower definitely translated yeah. into space. As you can see, the forward fins on the New Shepard booster have deployed. That booster is on its way back to Earth first. So those fins, when they deploy, they help to shift that center of pressure so that we have just the right aerodynamic characteristics that we want for that rocket to come in in a very stable way. Engine restart on that BE-3 confirmed. Altitude dropping fast. Sonic boom here in the studio. Hear that? Feel that for sure. That beautiful booster hover. And booster touchdown. <laughs> Welcome back, New Shepard. Thank you so much again for joining us for our third human flight. We just landed the booster. The show is not over. Here we see our crew capsule on final descent back to the West Texas desert. Let's wait for that now. Look at that booster on the pad, all in a day's work for the workhorse of this operation. All right, and there go the drogue parachutes. That's a beautiful sight, slowing down the capsule. And there we go, the drogues lifting out the main parachutes. Looks like we have three beautiful parachutes there in their reef configuration. And the release, the disc reef, there we go. Three beautiful main parachutes. And on your screen, you're seeing that, that velocity and altitude dropping. So while these parachutes are obviously essential in providing a gentle touchdown for the crew capsule, New Shepard also has an innovative retro thrust system. Uh, so that's on the bottom of the capsule and that will make touchdown even smoother for the astronauts flying today. Oh yeah, look at that. Where's my phone? I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> we did it, we did it. Shadow, actually. Yeah. 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 I can see the shoot. The shadow. Yeah. 
We can hear audio from a very excited crew on their way back to Earth. Right, what a beautiful horizon. day in West Texas. What a great view through those big windows there. Stand by touchdown. Stand by touchdown. So keep in mind here, there we go. Retro thrust and touchdown. All right, that is cheering all sight. around from the crew. I think it is safe to say that the word touchdown has a new meaning for Michael Strahan today. Jackie, you are right. 